Eight years ago, some terrorists attacked Army Public School in Peshawar in Pakistan and killed dozens of children. Recently, an activist has claimed that though the shootings were carried out by terrorists, the attack was facilitated by the Pakistani military establishment. A report. On December 16, 2014, six terrorists associated with Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan attacked the Army Public School in the northwestern city of Peshawar. 147 people, including 132 children, were killed in the attack. Fazal Khan, a human rights activist, lawyer, and the founding member of the Pashtun Tahfuz movement, joined EFSAS director Junaid Qureshi in Amsterdam for the latest redemption of EFSAS interview series. Mr. Khan's son was also killed in the attack. The killing of Mr. Khan's son has driven his continued focus on human rights activism and his pursuit of justice for the children killed during the 2014 massacre. Mr. Khan has argued that the shootings were carried out by terrorists but facilitated by the Pakistani military establishment. He bases this claim on asylums not targeting military personnel and established school schedules not being followed by the school resulting in the physical concentration of children in the spaces where shootings would take place. 2014-16 December incident, which took place in Peshawar and uh, unfortunately in that uh, terrorist attack, I have lost uh, my son uh, who was a grade 9 student, uh, age 15, along with uh, almost 147 uh, other school kids and uh, some teaching staff. Uh, it was uh, like a natural that uh, uh, things like that happens in those days in Pakistan. Uh, across the border, I would say, uh, those uh, terrorism. But we haven't seen it uh, with that depth because once, uh, when, when it comes to your own home, mm -hmm. when something happens to, to yourself in person, then naturally, you have more feeling. Mr. Khan suggested that Pakistani security institutions facilitated the attack to ensure continued U.S. security aid at a time when support in Washington was wavering, condemning the victims of the attacks to being collateral damage. The Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan claimed responsibility for the massacre yet specifically established military courts failed to prosecute relevant TTP leaders. Authorities held a TTP spokesman in a safe house before allowing him to leave Pakistan for Turkey. There are eyewitnesses who have seen uh, uh, many things which should not be like there. Uh, the, the most important thing is that uh, if you have heard about it, that uh, there was uh, a first aid training going on in the school on that day when the terrorists entered uh, and attacked the school. Un uh, unfortunately, and uh, uh, that uh, first aid training was not supposed to be there, rather I would say never there. Like, uh, you know, they have staged this first aid training and the first aid training was staged by a so-called major of the army. Pakistan has always been involved in terrorism through the backing of various designated terrorist organizations. Pakistan Army and Intelligence Agency have also been frequently accused by various countries for the involvement in a variety of terrorist activities in both its local region of South Asia and beyond. Pakistan has, however, always denied providing safe haven to any terrorist group.